Waitrose generates some unavoidable food waste out of its operation. Actually, it can turn into a fuel, very much like feeding a cow, um, that can go through a di natural digestion process that will generate green energy. Uh, in September, Waitrose was able to complete the exercise um, of sending all of its food waste to anaerobic digestion by adding the last 75 <coughs> shops. It's now an established process. By hooking up to this plant, um, we can service all of our shops locally, which minimises road journeys, reduces carbon footprint, so it's helping us be a more sustainable business. The idea here is that we're taking waste food, uh, and that can be uh, in any variety. We strip away any packaging there might be, and then we're going to heat that up uh, to kill any, uh, any germs that might get into the system before putting it into the AD tank itself. Here are the uh, AD tanks themselves that are buried. They're made of plastic and they contain no moving part. Traditionally, as, as Mike referred to, AD tanks are big circular uh, above ground, 15, 20 metres high, with huge paddles in that agitate the liquid. AD tank works at around body temperature and natural organisms work their way through that, uh, that waste food, uh, breaking that down, a byproduct of which is biogas. Biogas is roughly 50% methane, roughly 50% CO2, and we collect that biogas, we take that off, and we turn that to 97-ish percent methane, and that's then injected into the grid for people to use either in business or in their homes or for cooking. Uh, the digestate, the, uh, the liquid that comes off the process, we're able to treat that and to turn that into a high value organic nutrient and that can then be used on organic land and neighbouring farms. The fact that we're producing energy here, the key is that we don't want to waste any of it, so the more renewable and sustainable we can make it, the better. So after we built the AD plant, we wrapped the, uh, the outside, as you can see, with about a million quids worth of PV panels, producing about a third uh, of a meg of energy. In real terms for us that means we can run our office, visitor centre and reception building on solar energy. On a good day we can also export enough to uh, run Adnam's distribution centre where their storage and offices are which is just over the hill over there and on a very good day we then have a little bit more to export into the national grid so we're exporting a little bit of electricity together with a reasonable amount of gas.